Hey guys, in today's tech tip video, we're going to show you some of the features that are built into MetaMask. So let's go ahead and open up our MetaMask wallet and we're going to go show you the bridge today. So go ahead and go across the top here. You can see all these features. Select bridge. That's going to open up a new website that's going to show you the actual MetaMask bridge. So let's say we're going from the Ethereum network and we're going to go over to the BNB chain because we want to do some hypercycle swaps over there and get into some hypercycle. So let's do USDC and we're going to enter in $1,000 because it's nice and easy to see the numbers once we do that. So $1,000 in USDC, this will actually calculate how much USDC you're going to end up with when it transfers over to the BNB chain. Now keep in mind also, when you do get this USDC over to the BNB chain, you still need BNB in your wallet to actually do any of the swaps because that's what the fees are going to be um, done used for when you're doing a swap over on pancake swap it's still going to require a little bit of bnb so if you have zero bnb in your wallet naturally you won't be able to do anything over there once you get this usdc over there so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and look at the fee structure here and we can see how this breakdown is calculated now for this transaction we're going to have a gas fee of 24 dollars 11 this is going to be paid in ethereum and this is going to be on top of the $1,000. So what it's going to do is it's going to pull out the $1,000 and then it's going to pull out $24.11 in Ethereum to do that transaction. This is the gas transaction to cross over the bridge. It's also going to pull out the bridge fee and your 0.875% MetaMask fee. So when you get over the bridge, you're going to end up with $988. Alternatively, this is a good way to see what bridge they're using because if you didn't know metamask is a bridge aggregator it's going to go find the best bridge at the moment to do that bridge to get that usdc from your ethereum network over to your bnb network so we can go check out this seller bridge directly by going to their website and we can punch in that exact same thing a thousand usdc and it'll show us how much bnb we're going to get if we use that bridge now this is interesting only because how much BNB were we getting if we use this bridge? We were getting $988. Now, the gas fee is going to be relatively the same, $24. It could actually be a little bit less if we ended up using this bridge. I'm not going to connect my wallet here just because I've never used this bridge. I'm going to get to that in a second. But we're going to get $997, which is a lot better than if we use the MetaMask bridge. And the reason being is because we don't have to pay the MetaMask fee. Thank you, MetaMask, for showing us what bridge you're going to use. Now... The only problem and the only reason why I would say not to do that is because I have never used this bridge. I would have to do my research before I actually connect it to this bridge, make sure thousands and thousands of people have used it before and make sure it's a safe bridge to use. If that's the case, then I'm going to go ahead and use this bridge directly. It's the same thing as if you were to connect your wallet here and use this bridge as if you were to use this bridge, which is kind of cool because this is a cool way to see bridges across all these different networks. So we can do it with the Arbitrum network. It will actually pull up the bridge that MetaMask goes and finds. And I've seen different bridges pulled up when I use these different when I use these different things. So Optimism has the same thing. I would imagine it's going to use the Optimism bridge, but who knows? I've seen that thing down quite a bit lately. So who knows what's going to happen over there? So we'll see. It's going to use the Seller bridge as well. So it looks like a popular bridge. Polygon's definitely going to use the Polygon bridge. Yesterday, last night when I was doing this, it was using the hot bridge. So it was using actually a different bridge. So it'll show you those different bridges. You can calculate the fees based on what you want on this thing. You can go through here and see how much you're going to get, how much you're going to get on the other end and see if you want to research and use that bridge directly. So hopefully this was an informational video for you guys to see how to use bridge and how to get money from one network to the other network to be able to do swaps in that network. Remember, you have to have the native currency still in your wallet. So if I was going to the Polygon network, I would still have to have Matic in my wallet to be able to do those transactions on the Polygon network or else I'm not going to make those swaps over on Polygon. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tech TV deals just like this one, go to nickblacknext.com. We're building an entire library of these tech tip videos. You can put in your name and email and get access to these eventually. If you have any more comments, questions, concerns, put those below. And for now, we'll see you in the next one.